Bye. You'll never believe how much I just made from YouTube Shorts. Good morning, guys. It is 9 o'clock on the dot. It is the 25th. Puppy's out there with a squeak toy. Luca is in his little rocker chair with the doors wide open. He loves to get his like morning fresh air and listen to the waterfall going out there. And then that's kind of how we start our day. We're headed to the pool. Hopefully he falls asleep so I can get some laps in. But just yesterday, well, I guess it wasn't yesterday. Uh, the vlog that we did last was like a day and a half ago or whatever. We showed you guys that we got a little baby Versace outfit that was like $60. And we were trying to say that compared to $600, which I would never buy and put my baby in, it was a comparable price to put your baby in a $60 outfit and to say they have a Versace outfit than to someone was like, that's how you know these people are no good with money. No, no, no. We do not buy $60 outfits for our baby every time, but we did go into Walmart yesterday, and since we're going to the pool a lot, Steven grabbed, he didn't realize that the Sheen order was on the way. He went and grabbed just this Carter's outfit. This outfit, no name brand, no resale value. Granted, I can resell that uh, Versace baby outfit for every dollar that I bought it for. The resale value is $60 still. I can resell it, get every one of my dollars back. This is just, once I pop these tags off, this is just baby clothes, $4. But there's no resale. You put this in a trash bag and you give it to the next cousin down the line. This was $20. So three times as much and I get a Versace outfit, Screw Walmart, we had to sheen all the time. This outfit right here was $3.95. So miss me on that, she can't dress her baby, $60 outfits. I am not dressing my baby in $60 outfits. He has one of those. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some of the cute outfits that came in from Sheen. Look at these little rubber duckies and it came in with a hat. And then there's like this milk and cookies. that has got like these little overalls, so cute. Daddy's a gamer, mommy's a gamer, baby's got some gaming stuff. This little cow outfit. I think this was like $8 sweatsuit. And then this little cute pizza. And like, I know that Walmart doesn't have cute boy clothes at all. That's why I was so surprised to hop on Sheen and see so many different like patterns and colors that I was like, oh yeah, we're getting, I got like $150 worth of 25 outfits from them. So, and then I got these little French fry overalls, super cute, again, another $6. This fake Burberry got that for four dollars this fake gucci i think we also got this for like like five dollars but uh anyway this what is this we're not, we're, we're not doing that again twenty dollars wasted at walmart i mean i got four outfits for the price of that or just saved it and got an awesome versace outfit so skip that if you're buying them in walmart they're ripping you off unless you're getting them like on the sale rack and you're buying them for four dollars stop paying twenty dollars for baby clothes anyway we're headed to the pool uh, shorts started on YouTube last month, February 1st, they started paying for shorts. So we've got to tell you more about that. It's supposed to be a game changer. So we're going to dive into that a bit when we get back from the pool, show you guys how many views we got, how much we got paid. And we're going to dabble into that, talk about other social media apps and what they pay and compensate for views. And I think in a little bit, we're gonna go pick up the furniture that we're ordering. We need a couple more drawers in our room. And also, if you just like peek out here, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and it already looks like one boat's already going through the little tunnel and there's somebody else going out. So it seems like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Maybe we'll go get some smoothie bowls while we're out. And I don't know what else we're gonna do today. His swimmer diapers came in, so we're probably gonna hop him in the pool today and I don't know, can you think of anything else? Off the top of my head, I think that's all we've got, but we'll see how the day gets going. We've got lots of laundry and dishes to get to. We kind of just skipped yesterday and just did just a hangout day. So beautiful day, gonna get back into it. We'll see you guys out there. We just got to the pool, you know the drill. Hopefully there's no one here again today, but it's Saturday. Let's go in there and see what kind of swim laps we can get. I gotta go over here so I can get up. Also, I forgot my shoes. <laughs> He's just the most beautiful thing. He's gone. Hey, oh no, sunlight. Ah, he's melting. No one's here, so it's a win. Oh no, he's melting. Let's get, yeah. All right, he's all tucked in the shade. There's no one here. The pool is looking beautiful today. It is nice and cozy out. I'm ready to get some laps in.
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just having a big debate in the car. Old people are definitely not going to be able to figure out this car. Like I've said before in another video, this i7 is like the 7 Series is usually sold and marketed to the older crowd because it is more of like a luxury chill car four door it's not very sporty it's just got a lot of luxury packages in it which like the older people like to just be chilling and just be cruising on their sundays and whatnot this is a great car for that but it's got a lot of tech in it this time so i don't know like who they're marketing this car to because it's a very expensive car for a younger couple or a younger guy and no single person's really gonna buy all of this because as he's driving in the front seat or she, uh, they, all the good stuff is right back here for your passengers. So I'm not sure who they're marketing this car to, but it's kind of complicated. The TV technically works now. We just got a text message that says all of this stuff works. I can pull up TikTok now and live TV is kind of working. So like rewind a couple of days to the big game uh, and the Super Bowl, I could have been sitting back here if it was working. I could have been sitting back here while we were in traffic watching the Super Bowl live time. It would have been awesome but I'm kind of still figuring it out. I found TikTok this morning and it's kind of cool. You can use like this pad over here. Ooh, I don't know if I've got it. Nope, my gimbal, I can't get it. Down there on the R, <laughs> this gimbal's hard to fit. Can... I'm not gonna figure that out. Anyway, this gimbal's kind of hard to use, so I can't really show, but like over here is a pad on the door you can use. And then also right here, the TV is a straight touch screen. So you just type in TikTok, touch right here, touch TikTok, and now we are in the app. So I can pull up, I can watch. I think there's a camera on here so we can even stream live from YouTube or TikTok or whatever we're planning on doing. And there's a video playing right there. Let's boil some some I don't know what they're doing anyway uh it all works so we will show you a little bit more when we figure it out but like I said I'm pretty tech savvy and I'm having a hard time we got this car one month ago like our first car payment is due yesterday uh so yeah, it's taken me this long to get it all set up and it's still not 100% working in the easiest way possible. So like I said, I don't know who they're marketing this to, but if I was 75 years old and trying to figure out this TV, we've had to call BMW, we've had to call Sprint, we've had to call everyone you can think of to figure this thing out. And it's still, it's mostly working. We just can't figure it out. So when we get home, we're going to really take it apart, hop on the phone, figure out with better internet and see what we can get working. But this is like an honest review of, I still don't know what I'm doing back here. So good luck to you guys. If you figured it out, please comment below and give me some tricks, tips, pointers on your i7 if you figured it out, cause I'm over here slacking. Now to the part of the vlog that some of you are only here for, to the YouTube and how much they're paying me. So if you guys know anything about YouTube and how they pay people for the long videos, you get paid for view time and you get quite a bit between like dollars amounts for a thousand views. Right now on shorts, we're only getting paid four cents per thousand views and at 13 million views last month since February 1st, we made $444 on our very first month we're hoping that it goes up from there. People are saying that this number right here, this four cents per thousand views should be going up when uh, YouTube gets more uh, promotion, people who are advertising and things like that. So fingers crossed it does a little bit better. Maybe next month that 444 is going to double since we're going to keep posting. But right now that's what it is. It was supposed to be game changing, not quite game changing, but I mean, 400 extra dollars a month, that's an extra hundred dollars a week. It's not going to hurt my bank. And if next month it just grows from there, I can't wait to see. Sounds like Luca's up. I gotta go. So it is 6.30. I think we're about to close this vlog out. I just put Luca down for bed. It was about the same time as his bath every other night at like five minutes to six. And we get in the tub and he gets all scrubby dub and then he gets right out, gets cozy warm, put in his little footsie pajamas and gets a little bottle. And before he even finishes it, he's passing out. So he's actually two nights in a row now, three nights in a row now, when I get him out of the tub and put him into his snoo. He actually sleeps for a couple hours because he's just so worn out from like playtime. We actually went into the hot tub today, Luca and I did. Daddy was sleeping, but uh, so it was just a little intimate moment between me and Luca. We didn't even get to share it with you guys, but it was so much fun. He was just out there floating, just staring at the sun. He was like, well, not the sun, I like the sky.
Uh, but yeah, it was a good time. So then he went in the hot tub and then we played a little bit more in his casino. And then he hopped in the tub and now he's out. So I think Steven's getting ready to go get some dinner for him. I'm probably going to head to bed. I had some oatmeal and I'm just about to go to bed. I don't think we're doing any kind of five star dinner tonight. It's just kind of chill and whatnot. But uh, yeah, Luke is down. It's 630 and I'm probably about to go down too. Steven took a nap. He's all slept up. So we're ready to do it. So Monday morning, we're back to work and um, I'm not sure what else. So I think we're just going to end it here and I'm going to get to bed. So I'll see you guys probably not tomorrow. We're just going to do like a Sunday bum day and then I'm going to rest. We're probably not even going to go to the pool tomorrow. We're going to be sore again. So we'll catch up with you guys first thing Monday morning when we get back to work and we will see you guys then. Till then, have a good weekend.